So it was moments after the first press conference here at Canal Park, uh, up on the suite level, and um, uh, we'd celebrated the, uh, the, the, the sale of the team, the Akron Arrows at the time, and uh, I was here in town with a good friend of mine from Washington, D.C. We went out for dinner and, and, and celebrated the sale, and then you know, my friend uh, turned to me and said, boy, do you have keys to the stadium? And I looked in my pocket and I said, I do. He said, uh, my baseball gloves in the back seat of my car does that mean we could go out on the field and play catch, almost like in a, you know, field of dreams moment, right? And uh, and so we figured out how to turn on the lights here at the stadium, which was a lot of fun, by the way. When I'm still to this day, one of my favorite things to do at Canal Park, and walked out on the crisp grass that had just been cut by our amazing groundskeeper, Chris Walsh. Uh, took out a couple of old baseball gloves and just that that pop of the baseball against the leather, uh, you know, leather mitt just snapping. Uh, it was a pretty pretty cool experience in a completely empty stadium. It was no more than five minutes that my cell phone rang and I looked down and it said, Mayor Don Pasqualic, of course, the longtime mayor of Akron. Uh, I answered the phone and I said, uh, Mayor Don, uh, how can I help you? And he goes, it's awfully late and it looks like somebody's broken into your stadium. The lights are turned on over there. Do you have any idea what that's going to cost you in utilities, leaving the lights on that late? Uh, he said, you got to... You got you to gotta turn off those lights. And I said, you're right, it's getting kind of late for you, Mayor Don. And I pulled the lever down on the lights and we said on the phone, lights out, and turned off the phone and, and hung up the phone. And uh, it was a, a memorable story and one that I'll never, ever forget.